Hi guys, it's Mel. We are out here playing with tents. <laughs> I know, right? Me, more tents. So I wanted to show you guys, let me switch the camera. This is the Ozark Trail. And it's a 12 person cabin tent with a convertible screen room. So that's what it looks like in the picture and that's what it looks like in real life was uh not fun to put up but i tried to do it by myself which i know better and the hardest part of it was getting these poles into these little peg holes right there i got the back side done but not the front side. And I tried to use the stakes that came with the tent, but they kept pulling out. The ground here is too soft, I guess. So I reverted to my glow in the dark, screw in stakes. So this side of it would be the bedroom. And this side of it would be the screen room. So it's got a pretty big window on this side, really big window on this side, or of course you can zip them up and use that as a bedroom as well. Has uh, another door for each side so it can be used as a two room cabin. Are you now sleep in one side and put your kitchen stuff in the other? It does come with a spot for the cord goes in. It comes with guidelines. The hook on there. And then the poles have these little hooks for the rain fly. It doesn't have any exterior vents other than the windows. Oh, and the roof. I mean, the whole thing is mesh up there. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to put out a guy line and open a door and we will go inside and have a look. All right, now here is the tent all open up. So I'm in the bedroom looking at the screen room. The only thing I didn't get was I'm too short to tie back the door all the way to the ceiling or roof, whatever you want to call it. And so this room, would be your screen room and this room would be your bedroom and then the dividing wall is there you've got your mesh pockets there you have your power inlet outlet there you have another mesh pocket down here all the pockets are all the coverings, the window coverings have a pocket for you to tuck things into, but some of them have tie backs like this one and this one, but none of the others do. Huh, I've been looking all over for where that goes. This is the only place I found that it fit, but I just found where it belongs.
think you need to put them. I think you got that too tight. I think you need to hook the poles in there and then tighten it and put the stake. Okay, is what we'll try that. And then here. Not a one-handed job there. Okay. And I'm too short to hook the thingies up there. Because the wall's attached, it doesn't come out. Okay. Talking about these. Mm -hmm. I'm too short too. <laughs> That's okay, it'll stay right there. Okay, so undo that side. Only has the one pouch in here. No, it's got more. Oh, it's got that mesh and it's got this mesh over here. And there's another pouch over here. Yeah. And then it's got the inlet for the power. And it's got another pouch there. Here's the power inlet right there. So overall, this is not a bad tent. The biggest issue I see is, is it going to leak water? Yeah. So, but you could always buy a can of rain garden, maybe stop that. And it has Velcro here. Okay, so this is not the convertible side. You put the logo on the front there. So Goose figured out it's for ventilation, so you can roll it up and get more air mm -hmm. to the mesh. Do you see the ties on there? Yeah, I know right where they are. How bad is it really? Y'all see that, folks? I got it in. Oops. Broke it. I broke it. Is it on yet? Let me know if y'all need my help. Go into the camera and make sure the little square is on there. I don't even see a square on here. Sarcasm kind from people being wise beyond their britches. That would be him. That'd be you. I turned off the camera before you said that. Ha <laughs> ha.